So I went out with a guy, we were discussing business, entrepreneurship, like important shit, like self-improvement. And then we're about to end the meetup, we're getting closer and closer to the bus stop and randomly three guys just out of nowhere, hey, do you want to drink with us? And I'm like, he's like, mm, but I'm like, yes, 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 let's go, let's go. So we went to the cheapest store, but the cheapest wine. And we went to talk with some homeless people. I was talking to like all, all those people around us. And I, one of those guys even turned out to like be organizing a concert for one of my friends, like for real. But just honestly, like, yeah, it was reckless. It was dangerous. They could have turned out to be like rapists, pedophiles, whatever. Just think about this. I have made a lifetime memory. I had fun by just going out of my room, honestly. And just wait a second, okay? You will be able to do that. You will be able to effortlessly make friends, just like in this story, by using the principle that I'm about to share with you in this video. But before that, my name is Jan, and I'm here to make it effortless for you to make friends. I went from top levels of social anxiety to somewhat of a social guy myself and I did that in just a few months and I want to teach you how to do that. So the principle that got me there was like, you, you've read the title of this video, yeah? Leave your rooms. This doesn't mean sit on a couch and watch a movie. It doesn't mean go to a toilet. It doesn't even mean go touch some grass because you're a nerd or something like that. It just means that you're supposed to go out of your room, of your house, of your even neighborhood to just go and talk to people. This is the most important principle. And before you turn off this video because you've already heard the advice, just listen, okay? Because this could be the reason why you meet your future best friend. It could be the reason why you have all those laughs with him, why you have all those road trips, you smile, you laugh, you listen to music with him, you go and destroy stuff in an urbex or whatever it is that you like to do. I, for example, like uh, entering abandoned building, but just, okay? Be out there and practice. Talk to as many people as possible. Just whenever you're going out and you should be doing that every week or every day even, at least every week, you should be going out of your house and walking, walking, not, not driving, walking, so that you can genuinely see the people walking next to you. Look at those, look at those people, smile at them, say hi to a grandma that is randomly just crossing a street, help her out. Like this is normal stuff that we're supposed to do as humans, literally. Like you're learning here how to be human again, but you will become that human because I understand that you like, bro, just look at yourself. If you're a tough motherfucker, you will be able to get there. You will be able to build a huge social circle, make a ton of friends, make it effortless for you to make friends, get a girlfriend. This will be easy for you if you just do this one thing. I know you're an introvert. Believe it or not. I, I know you might think that I have this high energy, so I must be an extrovert. But actually, I learned this. I learned this two years ago. I would never leave my house. I would just stay at home, watch movies each and every day. And that would be for somewhat of my entire lifetime, even though my parents are really good and they uh, required for me to go out and meet new people and everything. But I was still an introvert at heart. I am still an introvert at heart. I could sit at home for months on end. And that doesn't mean that I wouldn't feel lonely. That just means that I'm capable of doing that because I'm an introvert, like for real. But what changed all of this, what made this YouTube channel, honestly, is just going out there, going out of your room. I'm in my room right now, yeah? I'm going out today. I'm going to my girlfriend. I'm going to meet new people tomorrow because I'm going to... No, to, today I'm going to my grandma. Tomorrow I'm going to my girlfriend. Two days from now I'm going uh, to meet one of my friends and go to a new boxing class. Then what I'm doing in the next 20 days, bro, I'm going to a concert with... the Two of my friends, my cousins are coming to my house and we're going to obviously go out every day probably. Uh, what else? I'm going to one club, one concert. Oh man, there's just so many different things and you just gotta structure your life like this.
you gotta structure your life when you actually go out go out of your room all the time all the time and just talk to many people there because as i said this might be the reason why you meet that close friend that you're looking for yeah you, you clicked on this video because you sometimes are feeling lonely let's just be honest i've been there i understand this but you gotta take those baby steps you gotta push yourself out of your comfort zone like all those influencers on youtube will tell you well like fuck bro they tell you push yourself out of your comfort zone make a party i'm telling you bro just take that one baby step just one thing that you can do today go out on a walk look at people smile at them say hi if you're comfortable doing that if you aren't still do that just it does need to be a, a beautiful girl your age it could be just a random grandma buying raspberries for their grandchildren yeah just say hi and walk past you smile say hi hold eye contact and just walk then you can run away just do whatever you want just socialize get out of your room and go and talk to some people i know it may sound really awkward i know it may sound really hard but you just gotta believe that it is easy and it will become easy Honestly, you, you just gotta, and to believe that it is easy, you just gotta do it. And then, because just imagine, let's say you finish this video right now, okay? And you go out, you say hi to that grandma, you run away and you enter your room once again, but then you look at yourself in the mirror and you think, fuck, like I just literally said one word to a person. How is that supposed to be hard? It's fucking easy. This is how you actually start to believe that making friends is easy. You just go and do what the person who thinks socializing is easy would do. And then you get back and look at it as, whoa, it actually was genuinely easy. Like I just spoke a word. Like I, I, I'm speaking a few thousand words per day and I just spoke one word. And so it was really easy. And fuck, every, fuck whatever everyone is saying. Making friends is easy, really easy. Everyone around me has friends. I'm going to make friends. This is the mindset that you need to have to make friends. And you should be going out every day, honestly, like honestly. But I know that it made sound. I'm repeating myself really here, but this is just because of this thing called familiarity bias on... Uh, and cognitive drift this is like psychology terms but what i mean is basically the more i repeat the bigger the chances that you will implement it and i really want you to implement this because honestly like i've been like you i've been sitting on my room for years of that and all i needed to do to become a social person is go out go out it isn't that hard as it seems it is literally just go <laughs> to your door, open it, leave, close the door, go on a walk, look at people, not in a way staring type of way, but in a way, <laughs> have a smile, look at people and just walk and just walk with confidence, have your shoulders back, just walk, just walk, just breathe while walking, look at people, smile, say hi when you see a friend, don't be scared to say hi to a girl. Don't be scared to say hi to anyone because it is all just a normal interaction with a human that we were all, always, always for millions of years supposed to do. You are a human. Show that you are a human. Go out there. Talk to people. Go out there. Talk to people. I cannot stress this enough. You can watch all of those different YouTube videos about how to make friends. But if you don't go and talk to people, you will never make friends. That's just the truth. The thing is that if you just went to people, after a while you would learn all those skills by yourself. But the thing is that you can really speed run the process by using like smiling, by using eye contact, by breathing fully, by like touching them when you meet them and introducing yourself for 30 seconds to five. And there's just many, many different tricks that you can use to like make more friends, become more likable, become a master conversationalist. But the thing is you would have learned it all if you just spoke if you just practiced so this is the most important thing this is the most important thing do this right here right now just take a paper right now take a paper like honestly take a paper tur uh, turn on your notes up whatever it is just right i will go out every week on a walk 
I will smile, I will hold eye contact, I will say hi to a grandma. Maybe I will speak to some beautiful girl, maybe not to a beautiful girl, maybe just to an old grandma. Well, maybe I will speak to a cashier, maybe I won't, but just I will improve my social skills each week by going out there and practicing. Write that down on your notes app, your document, whatever it is. You, you, just, you should be doing this right now, okay? Write that down. Then your signature below. You keep it at all times with you. Just put it as a wall, uh, wallpaper. You can have like papers on the wall. You see those posters? Right here, here's like my two monitors. And here I had a whole wall with stickers about what should I be doing, about how failure is success in progress, how I should improve, how I should love anxiety, how I should love being alone, uh, what's my life philosophy and how loneliness is fairly good because I can progress in it uh, and just stuff about nihilism and why it is wrong and just many different things on my wall. Like, I, as you can see those posters there, I have like posters of my thoughts right here and you should have them too. If you are an extreme person like me and you want to improve your social skills genuinely, have that contract at all times with you, have it in your pocket, print it out, stick it on your door, stick it on your wall, have it as a wallpaper, on your phone, on your computer, have it everywhere, remind yourself everywhere and you will go out. And when you start going out, when you start talking to all those different people, you will notice how great it is to have a huge social circle, to have friends, to have a girlfriend. Like I'm talking here from experience because I'm here, okay? I'm here. I know a, probably close to a thousand people by now. I have my own YouTube channel, bro. I have a girlfriend that's, bro, she's fucking ideal. She's like ideal. Wait a second. Just look at this. She made it for me yesterday. That's so great. Like, imagine having something like this. If you never go out, you will never meet a girl. If you never go out, you will never meet a friend. If you never go out, you will never have those fun experiences. Like, for example, imagine me on a 60 meter red bricked tower that is, that has a rusty ladder on it and it's just pretty much a part of an abandoned building. And I just went there with my friend and we climbed to the top, to the top of like the 60 meter ladder that was rusty as fuck. And we just climbed there. We had so much fun, so much adrenaline, so much. We destroyed so many like stuff there, okay? Let's just keep it quiet, okay? But it was so awesome. And you will have those type of experiences. I, for example, hosted a campfire two weeks ago or three. That was great. I talked with many people. I, I met girlfriends of my friends. I'm... I talked with my friends, I have I had fun and my girl slept over. We had fun. Like I have a girl, I have friends, I have meetups, everything is going right. And it will be right for you once you start to practice, once you start not only watching those videos of me. Obviously, I'm really grateful that you're watching them. Like that just that just brings a smile to my face when I see views on my videos. Like any views, honestly, because I just when I imagine to myself a random guy, just like my older self, viewing just one of my videos, and it's changing their mindset, and it's changing like how they perceive the social anxiety or making friends or practicing, <laughs> it just brings a smile to my face because I've been there and I remember how bad it was to feel lonely. I remember how bad it was to not have any girls, not have any friends just to be extremely shy and introverted and unsocial, basically. And I know how great it feels when I stopped being like that. So this is the one last call for you. Have that paper everywhere. Have it on your screen, on your door, on your wall, everywhere. Remind yourself go and go out on those walks. Smile hold eye contact, breathe, use all the principles that I tell you on this channel. Continuously watch at least once, one video per week of my YouTube videos and afterwards go out and implement it. You will become a social master in honestly just weeks. I know that it took me months, but I never had that type of older brother to teach me how to actually make friends. I'm here for you, okay? 
I'm here for you. So now do this one favor for me and complete what you've started. You've clicked on this video, you've watched it to like 15 minutes, so you've used your most important life resource, which is time. You took two steps out of three. The third step is having that construct with you at all times and implementing it every single week. Watch my video or whoever, it doesn't need to be mine. It just needs to be, you watch a social skills video about improving, about having a principle of some sort. You go out there, you talk to some people, you smile, you hold eye contact. I'm repeating myself over and over again here, but just do this. If not for yourself, do this for your future friend because you know how, how much their life would influence for the better if you were in their life. Just feel that feeling, how great it would be for you and for them to just be friends. Do this for them, do this for your future self, do this for your younger self, do this for your current self, do this for me, bro. Go out there, practice your social skills. And now if you'd want to really, really speed run the process of getting friends, you can see the first link in the description.